Hi, welcome to another episode of Build a Book. Today's page idea is um, kind of going to let us use up stuff that we have around. This is what I did. We have a little printed image that's printed on fabric. I have some more printed images that have been printed on fabric. Um, a little piece of something I painted. I cut it out. This is jelly print, jelly print. This is part of an old um, pillow slip that had that liquid embroidery that was so big there for a while. Piece of ribbon, some more painted canvas, um, several pieces of painted things. This was a little quilt I'd made, um, just playing around, free motion quilting, and another stamped image. And I just pieced them together, zigzagged them. No rhyme or reason, didn't have to be perfect. And um, there's still a whole lot you could do to this if you are against folding and putting a page in your book that's just like this. If it needs more to you, that's great. Um, I thought about putting a little pocket or maybe a little band to hold things. But I like everything I put in here. That's why I still had it, you know. Some of these were just tiny little scraps, but I liked it. So I kind of want to be able to see everything. Um, my concept on my, my cloth journal is going to be as long as there's some place I can write, you know, or tuck a little picture or a little something in there, then that's fine. Not every page will be anything specific. So, besides, there's an art journal page already. It doesn't have to do anything. I mean, I can come in, I can color this, I can doodle on it, I can draw on it, you know. I just like the images, so um, somewhere down the road, when my journal's done and it is for me to work in, I can enhance it how I want. So, what I like I said, I zigzagged them together. And then I, I really, really, really thought and thought about what I wanted to put on the back. Um, my first idea was another piece of fabric. This is again some jelly printed things that I had sewn together and stitched playing around and I this is the last of it so I thought well that would be good. But then I thought no that's still kind of floppy so I had several little things that I had thought about even just a piece of painted whatever and so what I ended up doing, or what I'm going to do, is I put on here um, a, a product called Steamacine. And it didn't adhere very well. It is an, um, like Wonder Under, but it's sticky. And um, I've got it on here. There we go. And this is sticky, but it's also fusible. So I'm going to pull off half of it because after looking around all over, going through all my papers, I just didn't know for sure what I wanted to do. And I pulled out this awesome, cute piece of scrap book paper right here. And I thought, oh, well, that would be cool. And then this is what the other side, and I was like, oh, I could do that, and then we can color it, which reminded me of the you know, 500 adult coloring books that I have. So that's what I have decided to do. I took and pulled out two pictures out of an adult color book. This is a cheapie from the dollar store, so there's, um, it's kind of lightweight, and there's stuff on both sides. And I just wasn't sure if it was gonna be hold up good enough, so that's why we did the, the fusible. So, um, I folded this in half and matured it so that I'd know exactly how big, and it was five and a half by eight and a half. So I will lay this on here, and because it's sticky, it's gonna stay right there. I will cut this one to, uh, actually I cut this um, to six inches, so there's some overlap somewhere so that I don't have to worry about it being too weak in the seam because by the time we stitch it on and, and stitch it together and then stitch it in our book, there could be too much sewing and it would pull apart. That's why we chose the fusing, the fusible, and for trimming this 
um, a little bit longer. So I will just get my paper cutter and I, I always start with trimming edges off and then I can decide from there what I want, where I want, you know, do I want to make sure this circle's in there, what, you know, what part of the picture I want. And I think that it needs to go this way. And I think that we need to have those little birds in there. So I'm going to cut this one at about six inches also. And I'm gonna trim this part off. And then I'm gonna decide, I, I kinda of like this top part, so that I'm gonna trim that down to the eight and a half. So, now that this is stuck on there, I can take this one in. I kind of like this one better, so I'm going to see if I can pull that up a little bit. Nah, we're not. <laughs> and I'm going to stick this one on here like this. I'm going to line up the outside edges first. And now all I have to do is fuse this. Now, yes, this one isn't stuck. But um, I can run some glue through there if I want, or I can just leave it because I'm going to stitch it together. So I will fuse this, stitch it together, and we'll see how it looks. Thank you. Okay, I'm back. I have um, got my images all put together, and I stitched around the edges, and I'm not sure why, but when I fuse, things seems to lose its shape, and I ended up losing my ladies' home journal words, but that's okay. So... I have it on. I just stitched down the middle. I ran a little strip of um, double-sided adhesive down here to help keep that little flap. And I have a nice page and it's actually kind of sturdy for being cloth. Um, I'm really excited about this. I'm thrilled that I found a use for the color book pages. I think that every picture I see is gorgeous and I gotta have it and I gotta do something with it. And I don't so now I can and even if I don't want to color them I can have a really nice black and white background to use on something else so that is the end of this page I hope you enjoyed it and understood what I was trying to explain um, my point is we just need to use what we got and I know that we all have bits and pieces that we've held on to because they're just cool and if they're cool to us now, they're going to be cool to us later. And why not put them all together so we can see them at the, all the, at the same time? Thanks.